Yo, what's up, VR enthusiast? Welcome back again to our channel. I'm Frey from Tools and Gadgets, and today we have the MetaQuest 3 here, which is the latest and greatest from Meta. So buckle up because this bad boy packs some wonderful features like powerful 4K display, 120 hertz display, which is a 30% leap on its predecessor, which is the MetaQuest 2. So actually, guys, this is my first time buying a VR headset. So I have here the Elite strap. So I took out the old strap, the one that came with this the MetaQuest 3 because after wearing it for 20 30 minutes it kind of bit it kind of hurts on my head already when I installed this elite strap all that went away like I've been wearing it for about an hour and I really couldn't feel any stress that's going on in my head right and also the MetaQuest 3 guys boasts a 40% audio increase on its base so the audio is located here on the side on each side and that's what I've heard when I tested it it was really good I could really feel like I, I'm in a immersive space that makes you want to feel that you're inside the game or the virtual world so if ever you just got your MetaQuest 3 guys I highly recommend getting the elite strap so they have the extended battery version of this so I just got the regular version of the elite strap here so in order to adjust it all you need to do is turn it clockwise in order to tighten it or counterclockwise to loosen it I might be thinking I do wear an eyeglasses so could I wear an eyeglasses using the MetaQuest 3 so yeah let's find out guys because I've tried without the eyeglasses I couldn't see anything it's like it's all blur I really need to wear my eyeglasses and with this stock pads here yeah I can wear just fine all right just like that all right guys so let's start in reviewing this so as of now i can see the horizon feed here there's a new update on the metaquest 3 guys that when you open browser the old version is that when you drag a window here you couldn't really drag the window out of the tab you need to like use the controllers here in order to drag the tab out of the to create a new window right what's good about this new uh, update on the MetaQuest 3 is that you could already drag the new tab and create a new window without using a controller because on the previous uh, versions you couldn't really use your hand to like uh, grab the tab and create a new window so in order to do that is that let's go ahead and select this then pinch and we're just going to grab it just like that so in the previous uh, version guys you couldn't really do that uh, many youtubers said that you need to get the controller okay so this is i mean it needs practice so you could like grab it and put it all the way there so let's go ahead and click on in order to click guys you need to use your uh, index finger and your thumb to create a click all right so you have facebook there let's just open espn here and here let's just open google all right so in here guys you have the depth uh, switch distance here so let's do ahead and click that and it will make like a 3d screen that surrounds you all over and what's nice about this new update guys is that you could adjust the screen here to make it even wider i mean wow look at that i, I mean that's a around <laughs> uh, 60 inches uh ultra wide screen so let's go ahead and try it here as well let's go ahead all right so on the other one here let's just all right in here why in the center it's not oh okay yeah so i could adjust it like ultra wide or a really big screen so i have here like almost a 360 degree uh screen here so yeah it feels really nice let's try to enlarge this oh yeah there you go boom let's try the other one as well so if you want to fill your room with all the screens then <laughs> yeah you're welcome to do so let's go ahead and grab this hold on let's go ahead and grab it 
oh, I could no longer like uh, tilt it up and down because it's so big already. <laughs> like, I mean, wow, guys. Just so, so in order to like uh, scroll in here on the screen, all you need to do is again, pinch your thumb and your index finger. And when you're okay with that, go ahead and release. So you can uh, do it a fast way, like click, scroll up, release. Yeah, just like that. So in here, guys, yeah. Just, let's say I'm feeling lucky. Yeah. All right, who's this? <laughs> Rose Heller. All right, here on Facebook. So it's like an immersive 3D screen here right in front of me, guys. It's like I'm doing a keynote from, let's say, Apple or MetaQuest. Yeah, it's so great, guys. So let's go ahead and decrease the size of this. Yeah, just like that. So I was really amazed with this, guys. So I, I haven't thought of this uh, getting the big the screen so big also oh, I could like adjust the aspect ratio if I like to widen it or to lengthen it wow nice oh so when I go too far the screen will just turn to gray but when I go inside of this like let's say this area right here yeah, I could fully see everything here. I could like watch YouTube here and do some work here and watch a couple of videos here. So it's really nice, guys. So in order to go back to recentering everything, all you need to do is hold again the, the thumb and the index finger and go ahead and release on the recentering. So yeah, it recenters everything. If everything is, you don't know where it is already. Yeah, let's try to go ahead and go at the back of this. Oh yeah, so as you can see, it forms like a sphere here. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. Hey, I need you right here. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and turn off the distance view. So let's just do it like that. So having this like really far from me, I could still control it using the index finger and the thumb. So take note guys, you couldn't use the middle finger, the ring finger and the last finger. So it only detects this two right here. And also I could go ahead and control the screen as if I was in front of the screen or if I'm away of the screen, I could just pinch it and scroll up. Yeah, that's really cool. So it acts like a three. So this is the maximum uh, window that you could open on a separate window. But here you can still open a couple more screens here. Yeah, you can still open uh, quite a few tabs. See, there's pretty much no limit in opening the tabs, but on a different screen, it only has a three limit here, but which is, I don't really think that you'll be using like all of them at the same time, but yeah, that's a good thing, right? So here guys, what I'm showing to you is that you could not use your middle finger, ring finger, or the last finger here. All you can use when you're choosing something is that, oops. <laughs> so it needs a little more practice so when you'll be selecting something all you need to do is or click using the index finger so you can still open a browser here while you're scrolling the different apps here so which is really nice guys so you have uh, YouTube VR here so let's go ahead and click that yeah, let's just confirm our boundaries here all right wow that is pretty cool guys so it's like I'm in a empty <laughs> theater or something, which I could see everything from here. So let's go ahead and, oh, my hands, nice. Let's go ahead and watch it in a panel. So yeah, here. So for example, we are going to cook something and we wanna look up the recipe here. So yeah, when I'm cooking here, I can still watch the videos here. I can scroll up so even though if my hands are wet or something or oily I know the screen wouldn't uh, get oil or or wet <laughs> but the problem here guys is that when I go ahead and type on the keyboard it doesn't detect any of my middle finger the ring finger 
and the last finger so it only detects the index finger so let's go ahead and search for a channel tools and gadgets so yeah here we go so as so you can see guys you couldn't really type like that typing right there because it won't detect this other three of your fingers so it's just gonna be this one right here but yeah you can type using this so it needs a little practice as well for first time uh, users in the VR world same as me so yeah I, yeah let's put it there so that what I'm cooking here I can still watch our videos here which is pretty great and then oh yeah I could just grab it here on the side just like a tablet or something and then let's go back to my workstation here perfect so let's go ahead here in the settings so you have your wi-fi the sound here we could adjust the volume that's coming out here we have our wi-fi bluetooth bluetooth guys you could actually connect your airpods pro with this so that when somebody's sleeping at night uh, they won't be distracted so you have your microphone the reset view the night mode disturb voice command switch distance report problem you have the pass through if we're going to be turning off pass through let's see what happens so it's like i'm in a 3d world right now so i could no longer see you guys all right so let's just turn that off boundary is when you set a certain boundary so that when you get out of that boundary it tells you that hey you're out of the boundary so you need to go back in so that you won't destroy anything or bump into something so yeah here on the camera so you have the cast here you, when you cast something on the web take a photo of, of something that you're looking at recording and go live so go live i'm not sure i never tried go live yet but yeah right now i'm recording to you guys so that you can see my first hand experience of this let's go ahead and click on the app so so you can see i have quite a few apps here already i got the asgard's wrath 2 so i got the asgard wrath 2 for free so let's go ahead and scroll up so yeah you can actually download netflix there's whatsapp people events metaquest oh they have a metaquest tv so you have the meta horizons world here you could remote display here and you could even chat messenger but i don't know i'm not i i don't think i'm using the messenger here so so what you can see earlier that i could only use the index finger to type which is really hard so yeah scratch that let's try netflix i'm just gonna blur it to you guys so that I wouldn't get copyrighted but yeah let's go in so that you can see the you can experience what netflix looks like in the vr world so i had my controllers here because i couldn't really control it using my hands anymore okay so I, i'm in a room right now it's like i'm sitting in the couch yeah <laughs> i don't know if it's still recording guys or not anymore but anyways it feels really great i'm looking in front of a i think it is a 200 inches screen a tv <laughs> it's so big and i'm in a sofa right now looking in front of this huge humongous tv which is pretty great so i could uh, control using this uh joystick here to go up and down right to left yeah and when i decided to watch something i just point at it and click this so yeah that's pretty cool all right so we are back here so in order to open like the quick commands guys all you need to do is wait for the meta sign to appear and you could pinch your index and thumb here <laughs> then before releasing it you need to drag it before releasing it because if you would release it it will just uh, go away instantly so you need to hold it and select something on the settings here before you release it all right so as you can see here guys i had opened like a note here to try and see if i could read something here but honestly guys it's the camera here it really sucks i couldn't read the text that is right here in front of me but then i could i could but I can see this uh, huge text here, but the smaller ones, yeah, I doubt. I couldn't see a single thing. So if I'm texting somebody using my phone while wearing this, 
I don't think I could really read the message at all. All right, so let's just take that off. Honestly, guys, the Elite strap is really comfortable when you're wearing it for a long period of time. And, and here in the bottom here is the volume control. So this is the volume up button and the volume down button. This is for the eyesight to level your, to level your pupillary distance. So it's nice to have that, but it doesn't have any prescription lenses built in. You need to order one, which for me, I think would, ju would just cost another 50 to a hundred dollars. And here on the side, you have some sensors here, both left and right. And on the other side, you have the power button here and the USB-C charging cable here. And one thing that I like to tell you guys is that when I wore this at nighttime, it couldn't really detect my hand. Like so if I just wanted to lay down on the couch, uh, pitch black, it couldn't really detect my hand. I even used a controller. It couldn't see a controller either. There must be a little light that is aiming towards your hand or the controller so that uh, the cameras here or the sensors here could detect it, which is, I think for me, it's a downside because what if I'm on a plane and I wouldn't wear this and the plane goes dark all of a sudden because everyone's sleeping. So yeah, I could use a pin light, uh, but then it would not be that accurate because because it keeps on finding my hand, which I don't think, or I never tried the Apple Vision Pro yet, so I'm not sure if, if the Apple Vision Pro is same as that, but yeah, let me guys know what you think. Let me guys know if the Apple Vision Pro needs like a little light or, or it could work on a pitch black environment. And as well, I want to take note that after wearing this for a couple of hours, I feel kind of a bit dizzy after wearing it. And when you're holding the phone, it's like, you're still, you still feel like you're in a VR world. <laughs> so yeah, that's something to like take into consideration, you know? All right, so that's about it. Guys, so if you still have any questions, write the comments down below and I'll see you again in the next vlog. Bye guys. Bye.